Sometimes, and still I think we're overcoming this, people like to say, well, you can't do that in Ada. You can't do that in rural Oklahoma. There's no way you're going to get companies that have this ability or have this sophistication. That's the big leagues. And we're like, yeah, but people have been doing it. And how many other entrepreneurs have we missed out by not helping them along the way? So the Ada Jobs Foundation is the economic development organization that covers uh, the Ada region. So our biggest program right now is the Build to Scale program. And so we are launching a uh, accelerator that will serve Southern Oklahoma that will be a three to four year program to get this running and off the ground. What's really exciting about this is we had a great partnership and collaboration both with the Chickasaw Nation as well as support from the city of Ada. So this is going to allow us to really specifically help uh, Native American and Chickasaw entrepreneurs that are developing scalable tech ideas and startups and companies. Ada's for decades created world-changing technologies, um, whether it's a drop in unleaded fuel for aviation, you name it, Ada's had all these really wonderful innovations and they've made our lives better and they're continuing to make our lives better. And I think ultimately that's the transformative thing about Build the Scale is it's hyper-focused on being able to support the people and build that pathway and that pipeline for these companies to come out. Welcome to Ada, where the South meets the West amid the rolling hills and meandering creeks of southeastern Oklahoma. Ada is an oil and gas town, headquarters for the Chickasaw Nation, and home to both agriculture and large-scale manufacturing. Through a truly collaborative effort, Ada and its roughly 17,000 residents are working to unlock the benefits of this unique, multifaceted identity and spark a growing tech-based ecosystem. My name is Danny Burroughs. I'm Vice President of Software Engineering here at Legal Shield. The company was originally founded in 1972. Uh, we grew into all 48 continental states. We are in the process of growing from our 1.8 million subscriber base into a, a larger subscriber base. Uh, we're very homegrown uh, here in Ada, Oklahoma, and we are working in a very digital world, right? Everything that we offer is available online. Our primary competitors are, you know, web-based platforms that offer legal coverage and services. My job is to take our existing technology that is, you know, 30, 40 years old and bring it into the 2020s. All of the modern things that you see from tech companies, we, we do. When I look for individuals to hire, when I'm looking to recruit, when I'm looking to send people to conferences, I'm not competing with the little guys down the street. I'm competing with Silicon Valley. I'm competing with New York. I'm competing with the major tech hubs. So a lot of what we have to do is understand and find a good balance between where the company was, what our core mission and our core values are, and then how do we take that learning and understanding and apply it to a more modern technology. For so long, Ada was an agricultural community. And then after World War II, Ada transformed into a very industrial economy. And we were able to attract manufacturing plants like uh, Solo Cup or General Tire or, you know, these large kind of, you know, scale, you know, plants that were moving to the south. And that worked for a while until it didn't. And so we know that we have to be a little bit smarter about how we create those jobs moving forward. We need to make sure that those jobs that are going to come forward in this next you know, change to a knowledge-based economy or technology-based economy are something that uh, isn't just a job today, but maybe a job for someone's you know, child or grandchild that they can continue living and contributing to the community. In rural communities, about 30% of the available tech jobs are IT, cybersecurity, and programming roles in core industries like education, government, manufacturing, and banking, not from scalable startups. In Ada, building a strong foundation for tech employment begins with educating young people in science, technology, engineering, and math, better known as STEM education. STEM education is important because it fosters our youth in the development of technology. For so long, we've told our kids that they need to go to college or anything like that to be prepared, but there's so many more options. So we're trying to introduce them to STEM activities, pre-K through 12, 
where they understand that, you know, you can have a $100,000 career and not have even a bachelor's degree. My name is Andon Russell, and I'm a junior. A lot of the appeal to ADA is the, the Chickasaw Nation. Chickasaw Nation does a lot for the city of ADA. The Chickasaw Nation supports the ADA community. They're a great partner for community. They help with um, schools and programs and services, not just for the Chickasaws, but also for the community. We offer a continuous improvement environment within the Chickasaw Nation, and so we're always looking for ways to innovate and utilize technology. This is where we host all of the STEM programs, the robotics programs, the summer STEM camps. We do all these here. My name is Tyler Cantrell. I'm a junior at Ada High School right now. Technology has kind of allowed me to break into that entrepreneurship business world, whereas I really wouldn't have been able to do that without it. A couple years ago, I got my first 3D printer. I started picking up some of the skills and then realized it just simplifies the process of taking an idea and turning it into a real thing. Lots of people have ideas that they just don't know how to make. If you can solve people's problems, you're valuable to them in a whole other level. I've started building an app for band and theater, both. It has all the sheet music there for whatever parts. You just upload images of the sheet music. And then also at football games, because communicating is hard. The director will set a song and it'll show the sheet music for that song for everyone on their phones. I've just seen problems that need to be solved that I can solve, and I just wanted to help people with that. And that's why like STEM is so valuable, because STEM is problem solving. I mean, not just engineering, mathematics is problem solving. The science, technology is problem solving. And problem solving is one of the most valuable skills that anyone can have. I can make a living solving people's problems in this way. I'm hoping to take the technical skills that I'm learning from these STEM programs. I'd like to take them and apply them to the manufacturing world. Even if you don't have an industry that specifically in tech, that industry may cause an opportunity for someone who's not even interested in tech to work on something that benefits that industry. And that would do a lot for not just the industries, but for the economy of ADA. I could really see a vision where ADA could be a real hub for entrepreneurship, not just for ADA or, or in this kind of southern Oklahoma region, but really for the country. Tech employment is more than just tech startups. ADA may be starting its journey towards a tech-based ecosystem, but the progressive, quality-oriented community is pushing what's possible in a rural town with education, ingenuity, and a bit of Western hospitality. Thank you.